Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Welcome to assignment number two with Microsoft Publisher. What you see on the screen in front of you is a finished product of a calendar. We're going to use our business that we've been working with and invent some dates, both personal and business dates, and create a one-month calendar. It's a pretty simple project with Microsoft Publisher. So, with this in mind, let's close this file and start a new document. In the front page, when we select a document, we're going to choose a blank document that is sideways or landscape mode. And simply, we have to go to the Insert button and look for Calendars. Now, we're going to the very bottom of the screen where it says More Calendars, which will give us the entire gallery of options. I'm going to pick the month of October, and then we're going to pick one of the calendar formats. Now try to avoid things like Echo here that has blue as a background because that eats up a lot of printer ink. I'm going to choose Floating Oval because it is a very simple design with a white background. Click the Insert button. Now the new object appears on the screen but it's in the wrong place. So let's go to the edge of the object, click, and you notice the whole thing moves. Let's put it up to the top and to the left about right there where it fits in the corner. Now we can grab the other corner by the dot which will actually stretch the calendar until it fills up the whole page. Notice I'm leaving a small margin about a half an inch because printers sometimes cut off the edges. Now to be able to make this look like I can put in dates I'm going to have to make the font smaller. So you notice I'm clicking on the first square and dragging to the last square which selects all of these squares. Now I'm going to home and we're going to shrink the font. I'm going all the way to size 10. That allows me to put in lots of little calendar dates. So click here after one of the dates like the 18th and put in a calendar item. Golf with boss for example. Now you might also want, not, want to save some ink by looking at these words up here where the weeks are, days of the week. I'm going to shrink this row here. Notice when I move my mouse, I get a double arrow up down and I can shrink this. This saves ink as well. That's a big black area. Now down at the bottom, it's got a little of a bug in the program. This here has a gap. I'm going to just bump this up a little bit and bump it back down and it resizes all of these squares like they should be. You might like a different font, so select October 2014 and pick a font that you like from the list. You can change its size and color if you like. And I'm going to fill in the rest of the items now. Now the last thing that I'd like you to do is to put in your name, so let's go to the top here and type in your name and period in your class and we are ready to print.